Hello everybody, Quiet Atheist here. You know earlier I was watching a Google Hangout with some Christians on it, and I couldn't help but notice a couple of things. These Christians had it in their head that they were being bullied, that they were being teased, everybody was being hateful towards them, so on and so forth. And they were playing the victim card. But this situation really pissed me off, and I want to share this with you guys. And then after the video, please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section. Um, <clears throat> it really pissed me off because these guys do not seem to get it, period. You Christians need to realize something. When you come on here with your extraordinary claims, you're going to need to have extraordinary evidence to prove your position. That is how it works. If I came on here and said that I have a huge pink dragon with a diaper on in my backyard, I'm going to expect people to call me out on it. I'm going to expect people to ask me questions, so on and so forth. And that's what you guys need to do. And what I find ironic about the whole particular situation is the fact that you guys come on here with threats of hell. You make it known that you dislike gay people. And I know a couple of you who will remain nameless, but you know who you are. And so on and so forth. And you guys need to realize that you're going to offend people when you speak of these things. But I know you won't, because you guys like to play the victim card. You guys like to offend people, but then when they come at you aggressively because of this, you're all of a sudden a victim. And that is what I have a problem with. Here's how I see it, Christian. You guys need to come on here with a rational discussion. You guys need to act like human beings with your fellow human beings. You will get a lot more respect in the long run and that's how it works and that's how I see it if I come on here hateful to people I'm going to get a hostility back that's how it works treat people how you want to be treated but don't expect someone to treat you differently because you have hateful things to say to them they're going to treat you the same way you treat them and that's how it works. And the fact that you guys whine and moan and groan about this particular situation really sickens me. Because you guys bring it upon yourselves. With your hate-filled discussions. And believe me, the past couple of nights, I have seen a lot of that crap. And to be honest with you guys, I am offended with what you guys have to say about a few things. But do you think I'll come at you hateful? No. Although people have, and I'm not going to deny them the right to do that, because in all actuality, you come on here with these hateful things. Like I said, people are going to come with come to you in the same approach, and that is something that you guys need to realize. It is very important to have a very civil discussion, not to drive people away with this nonsense. It doesn't work. That's not how it's supposed to work. You come on here with an actual understanding of your fellow human being and really want to sit there and talk and have genuine feelings about a particular discussion that you guys are talking about. Don't come on here and mock us. Don't come on here and call us names. Don't come in here and talk all this shit that you want to talk. It doesn't make any sense. Because like I said, you come, out, you come out here and do all of these things, you're going to get the same treatment in return. That's how it goes. And like I said, be prepared to give evidence for your claims. And that's another thing I wanted to talk about. You know, see, I noticed a lot of Christians as of late dance around, you know, especially this Saitan Bruggen K character and this Tim character, you know. They like to uh, sit there and just basically ignore someone that's asking them questions. And then when they finally get into this discussion with these particular individuals, they want to throw presuppositional apologetics around and they want to talk in circles. Now to me, that is a dishonest approach. It ain't going to accomplish shit. 
it ain't gonna do nothing. In all actuality, to me, it is intellectually dishonest to engage in this type of conversation. But people like these particular individuals don't really care. They just want to make these insertions, talk in circles, and avoid the questions that are being asked of them. And that is something that I really, really hate. I really do. And it's boring. It doesn't produce a damn thing to anyone. You Christians like to come on here and disrespect individuals. You like to make fools out of them. And that is something that needs to stop. You need to come on here, like I said, and have a rational, humane discussion and not uh, act like a bunch of spoiled little kids in a candy store. Because that is growing rather redundant. And it is completely ridiculous. And that's what I have to say about it. Because it has to end. If you want people to stop bullying you or calling you names and stuff, you got to stop it too. you got to stop what you're doing. Have an honest approach. You'll have better results in the long run. Quit playing victims and actually sit down like a man and have a discussion. And that's how it's going to work. Now, if you refuse to have this humane discussion, things are going to remain the same. And that's the way it's going to be. You're not going to be able to sit there and have a discussion with hate-filled comments, bigotry, homophobia, so on and so forth. It just can't happen. It won't happen. It never will happen. But if you actually come to a fellow human being with the genuine intent of having a good conversation, I'm pretty sure something positive can come from that particular discussion. And no bullying, no name calling, anything will happen. But you Christians cannot get that through your thick head. You want to play victims. You want to think that everybody's out to get you. You know, see, that's another thing. The persecution complex of a Christian makes me laugh. They want to complain that they're being oppressed. They want to complain that they're being persecuted, so on and so forth, you know. And that is about as ridiculous as Oprah Winfrey complaining about gas prices. Come on. Really? I could understand if someone's in Afghanistan, for example, that is a Christian. And I could understand that persecution over there is real. I mean, just look at all the extremists over there in Islam, so on and so forth. I could understand if a Christian gets persecuted over there. But here in America, in the United States, Christians are actually getting their way. It's a problem. They haven't got we trust on the money. They have God in the Pledge of Allegiance. They're infiltrating the schools. They're getting their way. They're trying to tell the government about women and what they can and cannot do with their bodies. Tr they actually are passing bills to uh, basically give the pharmacies the right to uh, take contraception off the cells because they don't want women taking any of these things. And that is stupid. And yet you Christians say that you're being persecuted? That is hypocrisy. In all actuality, is it is the opposing ideas about life that are being persecuted because of you Christians. You guys love to persecute people that come to a different conclusion than you, especially women. Because after all, it does say in the Bible that a woman is to remain silent and that they are not to have any authority over a man. So you want to tell women what they can and cannot do. You want to tell women that they are not allowed to do this with their body. They're not allowed to do that with their body. They're not allowed to have these pills that they have every right to have. And you are nobody to tell them what they can and cannot have. You Christians need to really have a better attitude about life. You need to approach people with honesty and not bigotry. Because that is not going to produce anything for you positive. 
Bigotry is a negative impact on today's society. And it really needs to stop. And that's all I have to say about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video. Feel free to share this video with anyone that might be interested, whether it be on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever you guys decide to hang out. But I think I've said a lot that I wanted to say today. I mean, after, like I said, after I seen that particular Google Hangout a little bit ago, I really got a little pissed off about it, you know, and I wanted to get it out of me, so to speak. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time, the quiet atheist is out. And remember, guys, if you can't be good, be good at it. Most of all, thank you for watching. Okay, I've had my say, now it's your turn. Please subscribe, rate, make a comment, let me know what you think of this video. Your opinion's important to me. Thanks for watching.